March 2003. Shock and awe. At this hour, American and coalition forces are in the early stages of military operations to disarm Iraq, to free its people, and to defend the world from grave danger. The air and ground invasions went quickly. Baghdad fell in three oh. weeks, and the hunt for Saddam Hussein was on. May 1st, aboard the USS Abraham Lincoln. Major combat operations in Iraq have ended. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah. 2003 ended with Saddam in custody. But the new year brought signs of trouble in Iraq. John Nagel was there in the war's early days. Looking back, the problem was clear. We were very well prepared to topple Saddam's government, but not well prepared for what came after. Violence literally exploded in places like Fallujah. The 2006 bombing of a Shia shrine in Samarra led to massive sectarian violence. Iraq had essentially descended into civil war between the Sunnis and the Shia. So America will change our strategy. Sending 30,000 more troops and a new commander. The situation in Iraq is dire. The stakes are high. The surge infuriated some lawmakers and divided the nation. And the president says the way to dig out of this hole is to dig deeper. Does that make sense? The surge was among many pieces that led to violence falling in Baghdad and then elsewhere around Iraq. <laughs> Amid absurd moments, relative stability emerged, though there was still fighting. The U.S. combat mission ended in August 2010. Iraqi troops were in charge of securing their own country with help. But come 2012. And unlike the years of the past, they won't be able uh, to count on the enablers, as we call them, that the American forces have provided. There were controversies during America's eight and a half year presence in Iraq, including the Abu Ghraib prison abuses. The war also allowed Iraq to have a post Saddam government, a democratic one. But it also left nearly 4,500 Americans dead and leaves the nation struggling to answer a question. From, the, from my perspective, was it worth it is such an individual question. I, I think the more important question is, was it worthwhile? And the problem with trying to answer that, was it worthwhile, I, I don't think you can answer it today. What the Iraqis do from here may well decide it, for now. It's very hard to make an argument that it's been worth it. Sagar Megani, Associated Press.